today. We're just so grateful to God to be here. Amen. This is our last Sunday service. Amen. For 2020. Uh, traditionally, the last Sunday uh, of um, December, we always use it as a time just to just be with our family uh, and, and just to interact with loved ones. All right. So today is our last Sunday service. And I'm so glad that you decided to spend it with us. Amen. God is good. Uh, listen, I, I know that, um, you know, uh, 2021 is just around the corner. Uh, and, uh, you know, literally within weeks. Uh, and I know that people has been anxious, you know, about what's going to happen. Uh, but listen, God is in control. And I want us to keep our faith strong in God and continue to speak and, and say the word of God. Amen. Speak the word of God. Amen. We're going to get into the word. We're going to get into the word. Um, I hope you enjoyed the testimonials that came um, from our eye care outreach. Uh, people that were sharing their gratitude and appreciation for the ministry of eye care that happens every last Monday of the month. Amen. It's been a phenomenal journey. Uh, engaging with these people and hearing some of their stories uh, and where they're coming from. Amen. It, uh, actually, tomorrow we're going to be there uh, in uh, Hackney in Stoke Newington, and we will be uh, giving food, uh, toiletries and so forth. Amen. If you're not busy, why don't come down? Um, just we're going to be inside the Methodist Church in Stoke Newington, right next door to Saint, the little Sainsbury's, and we'll be there there uh, from 5.30, but the session actually starts at 7 p.m. Amen. We wanted to capture some of these testimonials so that you can see uh, some of the good work and where your money is going to, the contributions that you've been making uh, towards uh, this ministry. Thank you so much. And let's get into the word of the Lord. Amen. Listen, as we come towards the end of 2020, uh, it's important um, to assess and to take stock of where we are right now. Uh, during the course of this message, I want you to take down some notes because I think it's really important uh, that you jot some stuff down. But during, I want us to really take stock and to assess where we are right now. This year has been a year of uh, trials, tests, and self-examination, amen? Uh, but it's also been a year of self-discovery, knowing God more deeper and finding your purpose. I wanna say that one more time. This year has also been a year of self-discovery, knowing God more deeper and finding your purpose. What did you learn this year? I want you to make a note of that. What did you learn this year? Um, are you further than where you started in January or are you still at the same place? H have you discovered who you really are? Uh, I want you to make a note of this because I think it's really important that you begin to journal your journey this year. What, what is God preparing you for with all the tests and the trials that you went through uh, this year, with all the things that you discovered? What is it that God is preparing you for? Let, let's just be really honest with ourselves and let's really be honest uh, with God. Many people lost things this year. Uh, I, I know I lost some stuff. Um, but I want you to understand something that it's important that you understand that you will not lose your mind. You will not lose your peace. You will not lose your faith. You will not lose your purpose in God. I declare that in Jesus' name. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? Sometimes what you lost is about what you gained. I need you to catch that because sometimes we're crying about what we lost, but you don't understand. Sometimes what we lost is more about what we gained. And we need to stop crying about this because God is going to replace what you lost. Are you hearing me today? And when I speak, I'm speaking out of uh, my own experiences. What God is going to do is replace 
those things that you lost in this trial, in these tests, he's going to replace it with something better. Are you hearing me today? This is what the Bible says. It says, do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Listen to me. Come on, let's be honest. We lost some friends. We lost some relationships. You know, your heart got broken, but your mindset and your vision got corrected. Let me say that one more time. You lost friends, you lost relationships, your heart got broken, but your mindset and your vision got corrected. Are you hearing me today? And this is what the Bible says. It says, I have not seen, nor ear has heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. Thank you, Jesus. I want to encourage you today to keep the faith. No matter how hard it gets, keep the faith in God. And we declare right now faith over fear in Jesus' name. I want you to repeat that with me. Faith over fear. Uh, listen, 2021, you will go in with wisdom. 2021, you will have clear vision. 2021, you will go in tested and tried, but stronger. Someone put that in the chat room. I'm going to go in stronger. I'm going in now with information. Uh, I'm going in with revelation. Are you hearing me today? I'm going in with understanding. And in 2021, you will win in Jesus' name. If you set yourself in the position, if you set yourself in the right place and in the right standing with God, you will win. You will prosper in Jesus' name. Come on, clap those hands and give God a mighty praise. Listen, I want you to catch this because faith is the eyes of possibilities and what can be. Yeah? Faith allows you to live in a realm of no limits. And I'm saying this because many times we have, you know, uh, fear has kept us dwarfed and limited. Um, you know, it, it, it kept us boxed in, you know, only just thinking and dreaming of what can be. But I want you to raise your faith today. I want you to make a decision in your heart that you are going to think outside of the box and you will not be governed by fear no longer. Are you hearing me today? I want you to understand that with God, there is no limits. And whatever you put your hands to, the Bible says, it will prosper. Whatever you speak forth, as long as in, it's in the will of God, it will come to pass. Are you hearing me today? I want you to catch that because someone is still feeling, oh my God, this year just took everything out of me. It just made me lose everything. But listen to me. It's not about what you lost. It's about what you gained. Yeah, you lost some people. You, less, you lost some friends. You thought you would never lose certain things. But hey, it happened. And now God is going to replace those things with better. Are you hearing me? You are not going to leave this year bitter. You are not going to leave this year bitter, but you are going to leave better in Jesus' name. I want you to hear me when I speak to you right now, because listen, I want you to catch this. I want you to catch this. God is looking, he's looking for a faith generation, a people of faith. He, he's, looking, he's looking for people of faith who is sick and tired of playing it safe all the time. Are you hearing me today? I want you to catch this because, yeah, you know, two, 2020 was this and that and, you know, all kinds of stuff happened. I know some of you can't even say everything that you went through. But listen, God is looking for a faith generation who was sick and tired of playing it safe all the time. There is another side to you that has not been tapped into yet. Oh my gosh. There's another side of you that has been uh, always trapped and tied up 
because of fear. But in the name of Jesus, by the word of the Lord, we release you in Jesus' name. That you no longer will be tied up and trapped because of fear and because of people's opinions. I want you to be free from people's opinions in Jesus' name. I want you to be delivered and set free from people's opinions. I come to let you know right now that God is looking for your faith. He's looking for your faith. It is the faith in God that will move God. Are you hearing me? It is the faith of God that will move God to move mountains on your behalf. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you today? I, I know that there's a still small voice in you that keeps on telling you there is more to life than this. There is more to life than just going through the same mundane, everyday, same kind of thing. God wants to bring you onto another realm. And when you go onto another realm, it is not just for you, you, for you to boast and brag about it. It is for you to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and let people know if he done it for me, he can do it for you. Are you hearing me today? Listen, get your whole family on the same wavelength. Let them know that you was not created just to be average. You was not created just to be ordinary. There is a supernatural side of you that you have not tapped into yet. Listen to me. All year, the enemy has been trying to keep you suffocated and to keep you down, to keep you fearful and to keep you in a place where you just don't know where you are and where you're going. But in the name of Jesus, the Bible says, whom the Son set free is free indeed. And I declare to you right now that as we come to the end of 2020, that you are coming out victorious. You are coming out stronger. You are coming out more informed. You are coming out with revelation and wisdom in Jesus' name. Somebody clap those hands and give God a mighty praise. Listen, no more excuses. No more excuses. The challenge is most times we know where the problem is in us. We can see that there is an issue. And so right now I'm letting you know that those things that you keep on saying, God, what am I going to do? It is high time now to give it to God. Give God everything. Don't hold anything back. Be honest with God and say, God, this is the area where I always seem to have an issue. This is the area where I always have problems. I'm giving it all to you. I refuse to go into 2021 with the same baggages of 2000, 2019 and 2018. I refuse to go in with the same baggages. I want to be free in Jesus' name. Come on, lift up those hands and declare, I want to be free. I want to be free. I want to be free. Listen, don't let complacency get the better of you. I know that complacency has been your middle name over the years, but we're not going to be stuck in a rut. No, we're not going to be stuck no longer. We're now coming to the end of the year and God is saying, I am looking for faithful people. I am looking for a generation of people that is filled with faith, that will be sick and tired of being stuck in the same place. And they have now declared, I am getting up from this place and I am moving forward in Jesus' name. If you believe that, come on, let's make a decree. I am moving forward in the name of Jesus. Clap those hands and give God praise. We're moving forward. We're moving forward. We're moving forward in Jesus' name. Listen to me. It doesn't matter where you started. This is what the Bible says. Though your beginning was small, yet your latter will end, uh, yet your latter end will increase abundantly. Let me say it one more time. Though your beginning was small, yet your latter end will increase abundantly. Let me give you another translation of the same scripture. Though your beginning was insignificant, Yet your end will greatly increase. Oh my God. This is the word of the Lord in Job 8 verse 7. Come on, receive it. Though your beginning was insignificant, yet your end will greatly increase. I speak that over your life in Jesus' name. 
I speak that over your family. I speak that over your children. I speak that over your business. I speak that over your ministry in the mighty name of Jesus, that you will be greatly increased in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So how you confront obstacles and challenges speaks of who you really are. Are you hearing me today? Because now you're going to approach it differently. When you don't know who you are, you want to cuss everybody out. When you don't know who you are, you want to just rail up everybody and just approach everybody. But when you know who you are and what's inside of you, in 2021, you need to pick your battles. Woo! Oh my God. You have not got time. You have no time to waste. Time is going. Time is moving forward. You've got to pick your battles. Not everybody needs access to you. Not everybody needs a response from you. You've got to know what battles to fight. I hear the Lord saying right now that I am your exceedingly great reward and I will fight your battles for you. The enemy that you see today, you will see no longer. Are you hearing me today? You don't need to fight certain battles because there is a God. There is a God that is fighting before you. He is the God of all the angels. And if you continue to seek him, he will fight on your behalf. Clap those hands and give God praise. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. David put it like this in Psalms 18 and verse 29. For by you, I can run against a troop. But my God, I can leap over a wall. Are you hearing me today? Pick your battles next year. Pick them wisely. I want you to understand this is what God is doing. Hallelujah. He is clearing your path. And you know something? Sometimes when your path is being cleared by God, it looks like all hell is breaking loose. But God is clearing your path. Are you hearing me today? I need you to get your ears unblocked. Oh my God. I need you to hear what the Lord is saying to you. And I want you to understand something. This is not about keeping malice with anybody. This is not about keeping bitterness against anybody. This is not about being hateful to uh, life and to situations. No, 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 no. Because the love of God needs to be in your heart. Because listen to me, I want you to understand on the next level that God is going to bring you, there is no room for bitterness. On the next level that God is going to bring you, I want you to understand the enemy meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. Are you hearing me today? There's some things this year you said to God, why God did it happen? It was meant to happen. It was meant to happen. Are you hearing me today? God has a plan. I know you've got some plans, but your plans have to bow down to the plans of God. Are you hearing me today? I know there's some things that happen. My God, I can testify. There's some hurtful things that happened this year. And when I look back over my life, I said to God, what on earth are you doing, God? But I learned to trust in God. Even when I could not trace him, even when I could not see him, I learned to trust in God. And I've seen God move in a mighty way. Oh my God, there's some things that I can't say yet, but I've seen God move in a mighty way. I can testify that God is up to something. And when God is up to something, I know you feel like it's, it's breaking up, it's mashing up, but God is moving. I want to encourage you today that sometimes when it looks like it's stormy, it's God that's clearing your path. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to be encouraged today. I want you to be really encouraged today because somebody has been analyzing and taking stock 
of 2020. There was tests, there was trials, there was exams, oh my God. Some of us took the same exam about five times and we kept on failing the exam. And then suddenly something just dawned on you. You began to pass tests. You began to pass the exam. You begin to go through trials. And God says, well done, my daughter. Well done, my son. Listen, I want you to understand something. God is no respecter of persons. He's not concerned about titles. He's not concerned about your, how much money you have, how much property you have. God is no respecter of persons. I've seen God move people from the bottom to the top. I've seen God move people from the back to the front. I've seen God take the most unlikeliest people and elevate them. Don't underestimate what God can do. Don't think that life is too bleak and you know what, things is just messy, it's just confused. Listen, God can reach right now into your situation and pull you out of the muck and mire. Oh my God. The old people used to sing it. If Mother Spence was there, she'd sing it. On Christ the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. I've seen God do it. And watch me now. God is still going to do more for you. God is still going to do more for us. Faith City, I want you to be encouraged. I want you to lift up your faith. I want you to lift up your praise and your worship to God. Because God is not through with us yet. We are just getting started. Oh my God, the devil has been mad. Listen, that's why the enemy has been messing with some of you this year. The warfare has been so intense. And you couldn't tell everybody about what it was you was going through. But I come to let you know and I come to declare right now that the warfare that you had gone through was not for nothing. There is a purpose behind the fight. Even some of you that have felt like dropping out of school, dropping out of college, dropping out of university, getting rid of your business that you started, God is not through with you yet. Are you hearing me today? I want you to catch this in your spirit. Because as you go into the new year, you're going in with a new mindset. You're going in with new revelation. You're going in with a deeper relationship with God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Has this year been tough? Yes, it has. Has it been a time where you've asked God a lot of questions? Of course. But I'm telling you now that God's grace is sufficient in the time of weakness. Come on, clap those hands. Clap those hands and give God praise. I'm excited for you and I want you to be excited for me. Because you know something? When God starts to bless you, you don't need any haters around you. You don't need people being jealous. Listen, when God starts to bring you into a wealthy place, you will testify to people and say, you know what? You don't know what I've been through. You don't know what I had to face to get where I am right now. I've had to come through some, some stuff. So right now, I want you to give God some praise. Listen, even before you see the manifestation, yeah, I see it. Yes, the testimony is coming. Before you see the manifestation, before you see the fullness of the victory, I want you to declare right now that I am stronger and I am victorious and that I am an overcomer. Come on, clap those hands if you believe it today. I believe that for you in the name of Jesus. I believe that for you. In Jesus' name.